Hello, and welcome to something a little bit different. When I first started this channel, a few years back now, it was supposed to be me learning the guitar and getting better. And I've not really done that, in that I've not really taken any lessons. I've kind of messed around, done some gear videos, learned some things by heart, but not really had lessons. It's something I should have done and something I definitely need to do in the future. So let's put that right here and now. So what I thought I would do is take some lessons from an expert and I'm going to start with uh, Andy Crawley here known as Andy Guitar who's one of my uh, sort of go-to guys for finding out how to play stuff. Go to him get some ideas so let's see what his uh, electric guitar course is like in I think it's in 10 lessons. So it's electric guitar starter maybe it's in six looking at that. Take it away Andy, let's do lesson one. So I'm gonna start from the very beginning. Imagine I'm an absolute beginner and I'm gonna follow this course and see if it makes me a better guitarist. I'm gonna show you kind of what's here. I won't show you all of it. I'll show you the pertinent bits and give you a bit of a, at the end, uh, an appraisal of it so far. And then we'll take it from there. Okay, everyone, uh, let's see what Andy's got to say, shall we? Welcome to the first lesson in this electric guitar starter series. In this first lesson, I'm going to be talking you through all the bits and bobs that kind of accompany the electric guitar, including uh, guitar choices, you know, mm -hmm. the differences between uh, electric and acoustic and different types of electric guitar, amplifiers, pedals, uh, tuners, everything like this that you may need if you're just starting out on electric guitar. So I've got a black star If you star want to start there. playing straight away, click the link in the top corner here or in the description to oh, get straight on to the first lesson, lesson in one. this starter course where I'll be showing you how to play your first kind of electric guitar riff. But for the remainder of this lesson, I'm going to be demo demoing gear and giving you my recommendations. Sounds now, good. So let's get cracking. This is my main electric guitar. Oh. It is an Epiphone Les Paul standard, and I really endorse Epiphones. I think they're fantastic. So I'm going to use sort this of sister brand to when Gibson, I do it. And for the Gibson <laughs> guitars, um, so I'm a slightly use more premium uh, guitar than some uh, Epiphone Les Pauls. So the cheaper version is kind of the Les Paul Special 2 or there's a Les Paul 100 that are slightly, you know, more budget versions than this. Got a Les Paul 100. One thing that I, is a Seymour Duncan uh, 59 model. This, this is my the LP 100 which has, by Epiphone. Uh, you know, the old pickup from this guitar in it. I've dug this one out. Uh, so a 59 model humbucker. No know, reason to change very, these uh, amazing pickups way of doing it, in, the, pickups. in the Les Paul and then uh, I paid, you know, custom. Amount of money these are great. At the same time as getting a guitar set up where someone set the height of the strings and... Uh, oh, setting up for guitars set, worth uh, paying for. That sort of thing. The other main model of guitar or the main style of guitar is a Stratocaster type guitar and you can see the differences uh, in the body my shape strats um, with the extra cutaway where my hands kind of studio. through here there is a cutaway on this one but this my one YouTube is um, a thinner body might not be able to tell too much on the video but that does make it different to play and any other guitar it's that a is lot lighter on the market so you guys is need to know. pretty much based on one of these two styles the les paul style and the Stratocaster style guitar with, with the two cutaways. Is so I've got typically, two um, Epiphone Les Pauls and, and will give you a heavier two Gibson and Les Pauls. Uh, standard and tribute. Uh, overdrive, so more and gear. I only recently got a real Strat. Go the video. And, and I'm um, kind the of playing the Strat well, this one all the time. Gives you a cleaner, twangier tone. However, you can get very close to both with, with either guitar, depending on the amplifier and pedals. Love the look of a Les Paul, the main but it's heavy. The difference between that sound um, is with the pickups. Mm. You can see that these two pickups here um, only have oh, one he's got a line at the of, uh, uh, of the pickup here. And Not that you can see on this video because so I'm covering it up. a single coil pickup because there's only one uh, coil of wire around this one essentially around a magnet is, is how they work and these one they they have two coils so they're um, not called dual ones they're called humbuckers because the idea is you get twice the amount of signal from one of these and half of the hum half of the noise well so, the, um, they kind of cancel each other out on the they're what provide you with the the uh, the deeper rockier sound or the heavier sound 
um, rather rather than the body. Well, he hasn't shirt, said is that you get um, a hum from the but single if coil. If you have a pickup like this, it's going to be heavier, and if all the pickups are like this, the single coil, they're typically going to give you a bit more of a twang. Which appeals to you more? Get one which of each. Makes you want to get play. every this guitar. This is really the only question that matters. There is no better, it comes down to taste, is getting an amplifier. Now these can oh, be what you want here, with any number of apps or anything like this, but you can't really beat a, a real life amplifier. And similar low wattage all valve amplifiers are the ones that I recommend in general. So if you want to try that out for yourself, you need to get down to a real guitar shop and try out a selection of amplifiers. He's not wrong there. If you want to know what to play, click on to the next lesson where I'll show you my recommended kind of first riff for electric guitar. But the fact is, unless you hear the amplifier See that in, in a week or two. for yourself, highly recommend get down to the biggest local guitar shop you can oh, and I try wish I had out a, big a whole one. bunch of guitars and amplifiers. Did I just say that? Them as a gift. <laughs> And the starter packs are a great choice, and the person could upgrade to I any, wish I had a big guitar shop near me. in the starter pack when they choose to do so. The sound or the audio from our guitar goes from the guitar to the pickup into the lead here, travels along the, the lead into the input, and then goes through each of the controls on our amplifier, and then we hear the sound through the speaker. First of all, what do all these different controls mean? The first control we have is called gain, which is typically another word for overdrive or distortion. That is controlled um, or overridden kind of by this button here. When this so button is So you can have high gain, that's distortion. Um, we oh. get a much cleaner oh, sort of overdrive off, sorry. sound or a totally clean sound like this. And when we press this button, that's where we get a much heavier kind of rock sound. The next one on this particular amplifier is volume. Volume always just means loudness. Volume yeah. is the thing that you want to control or keep lower when you want to turn it down. And typically, to get the kind of classic rock sound, saying, we want yeah. to turn the gain or the overdrive up and then keep the volume under control so we don't wake all the neighbors and mm. get, get people annoyed with you. Keep the volume down, but turn the overdrive up and make sure you're on what we call the dirty channel which is that one, and then the clean channel is like this. The next thing we have on this amplifier is That's something called EQ. For this particular one, all of that is on one control, which is um, really easy this and fantastic. And um, all we want to do to f have that essentially doing nothing is have it straight up. So when the other controls are doing nothing, they'd be at zero. But this one not affecting the sound is at 12 o'clock. And that sounds like this. And if I turn this control all the way to zero, it's actually, in this case, it's kind of boosting the, uh, the middle frequencies and simulating what they call more of a British sounding amp, so simulating more of an old school Marshall. And if we turn it all the way this way, it's simulating more of an American sound, which is with those middle frequencies taken out. The final control on this amplifier is reverb, which is an echo sound typically simulating a, the sound of a room. And the more you turn it up, the bigger a room it simulates. And there are all the things, the controls that oh, are you need to add a the sound bit. on our amplifier. The next thing that I'd really recommend that you invest in, and it costs as little as a few pence, is mm. a guitar pick. One thing that a lot of students complain about with any picks is that they drop them a lot. Mm. And the one, um, pick that I'd recommend if you do drop your pick all the time is a Dunlop Maxi Grip pick which has a sort of textured edge to it thing. and especially when I'm recommend recommending that you hold the pick between your thumb and your first finger like this um, we'll have more detail of that on the website if you click through to there how to hold a pick um, that can be a lot of struggle it can kind of move around people's fingers kind of spin around so if that's a struggle for you Dunlop Maxi Grip picks Cut. The next most crucial thing to make sure you get is a tuner. Now this one is a clip-on style tuner. It tells you what <sighs> what note right, you're right. actually playing. I think it's these things. Like you can see that it's up. If I change this note, so then it only works in standard tuning. And you might want to get yourself something Don't like a tuner. Really use tuner them to but. make sure that you can do some other tunings later on. They're the bare essentials to make sure you can do everything that's in this course. So we'd have um, electric guitar of your choice, a lead, 
the amplifier, picks, tuner, and then hopefully a, a strap at some point. At some point, you're gonna need to change your guitar strings. Mm. Make sure you change your guitar strings around at least every six months. And if you're playing really regularly, maybe every three months or when you see that they're kind of visually not as bright as, as they once were. Beginners have a pathological fear of changing <laughs> their guitar strings. It's something you've got to get over. Guitar yeah. strings are, you They're know, like, like pencils. You, you, you're constantly going to go through them and, and kind of, uh, they will break and they are consumable things. They're, you're going to go stringy. through them. They're not going forever. to last forever. I highly recommend thinner strings, especially for beginner electric guitarists. Um, it will make everything easier to play, be more forgiving on your fingers, and I'm sure you will thank me again at some point. The other awesome thing we can <laughs> check out with electric guitar is guitar pedals. Highly recommend kind of checking out what's available. They're pretty inexpensive. You know, they start from 20 or $30, especially secondhand, um, up to whatever price you want to pay for them. But they do such a range of things. If you buy individual get pedals one after the other just to try, and try them out, um, it can get Looks a bit like expensive. So one way to kind of get a lot of pedals en masse, and the thing that I got when I was a beginner electric guitarist, is a uh, multi effect. So this is kind of, you can kind of tell by the look of it, many of these sorts of pedals doing any number of things. Far too many for me to demo in this particular lesson at home. These are available from anywhere from 100 pounds to 200 pounds. Um, again, no, up to and a lot whatever you want to pay. I think knowing that they're available is a great idea just to keep Probably an eye Probably a good out thing to start like, on. You know, you're learning songs and you're not able to recreate the sound because it maybe does use a wah-wah pedal or it does use delay. These are a very affordable way to kind of get all your pedals that you could ever hope for and more all on one you know, starting from very budget. And, you know, these make uh, great pedals for a guitarist in your life or to, you know, ask your mum and dad or friends for, for, for Christmas. Not great Because um, the single guitar pedals are quite inexpensive and they are awful fun when you get into them. And that's everything. So I hope you've enjoyed this kind of walkthrough for uh, my full electric guitar starter course. The link should be on the screen now, and I hope We're to you in that, start that soon. It's a series of 10 videos that are going to really show you all so the basics required to play electric guitar. So I hope to see you in one of those videos. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Bye for now. And there you have it. So uh, I'll move on to those. I'll try and do one of those lessons uh, to the, uh, every week, uh, although it might be every other week, depending if I've got something else I want to to get out and I've got lots of other videos I want to get out uh, but yeah that was pretty good so I think there we learned the different types of electric guitar we learned how the amp works how to hold a pick he didn't really show us how to fret so if you've never made a note before that might be a bit tricky for you well show us how to get a certain rock sound if I was a beginner would I watch this before I bought the guitar I probably already have the guitar, but if you're thinking about it, it's a good place to start. Pedals. <laughs> Everyone loves pedals to begin with, but you know, take them with a pinch of salt. No piece of kit is going to make you brilliant. I only practice and being brilliant is going to make you brilliant. So it's not like, oh, I've only had this or if I had a better guitar. No, that's not entirely it. But yeah, that was a good starter. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Did, did I learn anything? Because the whole point of this is that I'm starting from the beginning. No, I don't think I did. But then I've been around guitars since the uh, 80s and 90s. And I'm still a beginner. Yeah, next time, next time I do one of these, let's do that lesson and see what that lesson was like, see how good that is. But that's it for now. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Let me know if you enjoyed this. See you next time. Bye now.